this is Eloise from The Big Bakes. Today I'm going to make a really easy and yummy coffee loaf cake. Um, at our Birmingham venue, The Big Birmingham Bake, we have a really lovely coffee partner, Yellow Bourbon, who supply us with coffee beans for some really nice slow drip filter coffee. I've been really missing that lately so I thought I would um, use the coffee to make a nice coffee cake loaf. So in terms of the ingredients, you need 200 grams of flour mixed with two teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt. You need two large eggs, you need 200 grams of sugar, then you need 150 millilitres of milk, 175 grams of softened butter, and then most importantly, you need your coffee. So um, Yellow Bourbon have very kindly ground some coffee beans really finely for me, so I, I about four teaspoons of that mixed with um, about a tablespoon of hot water, or you can use uh, coffee granules with a sort of similar quantities as well, um, depending on how strong you like your coffee loaf. You can also add in some extra flavourings if you wish. I'm just going to add in a sprinkling of cinnamon, be about half a teaspoon and about a teaspoon of vanilla essence. So you can either add this, if it's the dry ingredient, the cinnamon to your flour and you can add the vanilla to your wetter mixture once you've beaten in your eggs. So to begin with, we're just going to preheat the oven to 170 degrees and then you are going to put your sugar and butter into the mixing bowl and just cream that together until that is nice and pale and fluffy. Okay, and then once that's come together, you then just want to add in your eggs. And then if you um, have an electric mix mixer, you can start to beat these together on a slow speed now, or I'm just going to do it by hand using a hand whisk. Okay, so I've just given that a whisk together um, using a hand whisk. Um, it's just come together so it's all evenly incorporated. I'm now just going to pour in my coffee and then my milk and I'm going to give that another mix. Just be careful not to over mix it here because you've just added in quite a lot of liquid so you don't want it to go everywhere. It may look like your mixture's slightly curdling here um, and that's where we're just going to start adding in and folding in our flour. Okay, so I've finished mixing in my flour now, so my mixture is nice and smooth in consistency and a nice kind of brown colour there from the coffee. So I'm just going to spoon that into my loaf tin and then I'm going to pop it in the oven and bake it for about an hour and five minutes. So I baked that for an hour and five minutes. I'd recommend just checking it after an hour because everybody's oven varies, but it should be sort of nice and golden brown on top. It will be a slightly darker because of the coffee, um, but it will have a nice rise to it. So I let mine cool for a couple of minutes, popped it out of the loaf tin, and now it's almost ready to eat. <laughs> tag us in all of your creations at, at the big underscore bakes on Instagram. We'd love to see what you bake at home and I hope you all enjoyed this recipe.